Hello, everybody. Um, this is episode 200 Woo! of the Super Mega Cast. And before we get off, I just wanted to actually, we have a big guest today. Mm -hmm. um, he, <sighs> y'all don't expect him to be on, of course. But uh, without further ado, uh, this is someone who we've worked with before, way back in the past. Uh, Markiplier. Uh, hey guys, how's it going? Hey Mark, good to have you, man. It's oh, good to see you. Fuck you, Matt. Ryan, tell me how li how's life going? It's going all right. You know, just uh, this is episode two hundred. Ah, oh, I remember when you started that fucking podcast. It was epic. Yeah, uh, I was drinking milk, and then I then the first episode came on. Ah, oh, and I listened to it all three times in a row. I'm so supportive. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. Mark. Thank you so much, man. So I'm doing this new show, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria and Friends. Would you like to come on and play the star roles? Mark, I... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Just for episode 200, boys. <laughs> oh, 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 yes! 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 Okay! Yes! Our first TV deal, Matt. Our first TV deal. Can you believe Dude, it? I can't! <laughs> Oh, oh, Matt, I just had one of the best dreams of my life. What was it, Ryan? It was episode 200 of the podcast, and Markiplier g gave us a hit TV show. <gasps> well, guess what? That what? was no dream. It is episode 200 of the podcast. Oh, and, we, and, we're on a, and we're on a Markiplier no, TV show. Not that, but Markiplier no. did not invite us to no. be on a TV show. But it is that, episode that was, 200 that, of that, Super that, Mega that was, that was the dream part, was the Markiplier TV show. That was the dream part. This the, is episode 200. But it though. is episode... It is episode 200. Okay. That's, that's big. 200. Well, welcome to episode 200, everybody. Woo! <laughs> you Fuck threw yeah. something back well, and dropped Well, I tried it? to, as in celebra a celebratory move, I tried to toss a lighter in the air and catch it, and I I, I overshot it, so it just fell behind my chair. Should I put Mark in the thumbnail so people actually... <laughs> <laughs> like, just a real picture in him? <laughs> so everyone's like, what, if we just put featuring Markiplier, everyone's like, whoa! <laughs> whoa! Uh, if only April Fool's wasn't canceled this year due to COVID. I know, which I had a little scare with. Recently. April Fools or COVID? Uh, uh, COVID. Ah, yes. uh, I got I got a little cough and I got a little little tiny fever, ninety nine point five, and I was like, oh shit, fuck, fuck, oh this is it, and then it just went away. Yeah, um, I'm I'm no expert, but from what I've read, uh, of course the symptoms vary. Mild symptoms usually will last uh, a week to ten days to even two weeks, and then severe symptoms could last a month and then go into months. That so so awful. the whole like you had it for like. You felt that way for about 24 hours. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, uh, you're still getting a test to be safe. Oh, yeah. I'm still getting tested. Um, but I'm staying. I'm keeping right now. Since Ryan we're watching our door, own pods. We are, we are social distancing. And when I when I opened the door to the Super Megaplex before Ryan came, I made sure I sanitized Matt, the you door. you were masked. And I was masked and I sanitized the door. Because you, uh, know you know how wary I am. I know how wary you are. I don't want, I, if I have COVID and it's just a very mild case, I don't want to give it to you and kill you. I, dude, I would never forgive myself. And this podcast, I, I, I would hope not. I'd be dead. I, I wouldn't be able to forgive you, Matt. <sighs> Don't say. Can you, can you just preemptively right now say it, just in case. You want me to say that if just, you kill Ryan, me, that if you I get forgive COVID you? And well, the, first of all, there's no way to know it's from me. Uh huh. But if I blame myself and thought it was from who me, else would I have gotten it from? Uh, someone at the gas station. I don't know, dude. Yeah, Ryan. There's you like you think I just go to the gas there's station. There's like fifty thousand new to, cases a day. Hey, can I get a can I get a pack of the four pack Tic Tacs and uh, takes off my mask? Whew, how you doing, buddy? Can I get a kiss? <laughs> Dude, but can you just say it just so like if you pass away from COVID, I can play this back and not feel bad. I can be like, oh, you forgave me. It's okay. You forgive me. Yeah, I'll say it at some point. No, just say it now. <laughs> yeah, don't, do don't, don't make me go digging for it. Don't make you go digging for it. Just, I, just so I can be like, oh, he said at the beginning of episode 200 so I can. So you want me to say like, you want me to say like, Matt, I forgive you if, if I died of COVID. That's what you want me to say? And if say any guilt you might be feeling for possibly spreading it to me I don't hold anything against as you as long as you tried your hardest not to get it and you were as careful as you po no, human, I, hum humanly possibly could be I don't know how I would have gotten it if I do have it <laughs> of course if I, if I didn't lie today and tell you I had no symptoms when actually I'm feeling horrible right now <laughs> I'm so sick. Uh, I'd be furious. Dude, would you be, how mad would you be? Like, be like, I'm trying to play it off, but I'm like drenched in sweat. I'd probably stop the podcast and be like, we'll continue this podcast. We have to continue. You this look like my done. hands are shaking. I have sweat all over my face. I'm like, <laughs> dude, I'm, I feel fine. I seriously feel fine. Uh-huh. 
I don't have COVID. I promise. I, I don't have symptoms right now. I just have a little cough. Okay, little I, I believe <laughs> you. I believe you. Ryan, look at this. Look at this energy. What am I? This, I'm this, not. I said I believe you. Yeah, but your eye, when you just said that, your eyes shifted My, to the left, which is a sign of that's body language that you're lying. I'm a bit timid about you're going, that answer. You did it again. You just did it again. <laughs> what do you mean? When someone's lying, it, I, my, my, my eyes moved to the right. That means I'm telling the truth. No, they went to the left. That's the right. No, they didn't go to the right last time, though. They both That's went the to right, the left. Though. That's the right. That's your left. I think it's you got your left. They moved confused. to your left, which means you're lying. Dude, I, I know all about body language. I've read books about yeah, female body Yeah, but do you know language. about pizza? Where no. was the first pizza made? Italy. 1972. Who made the first pizza? When were pepperonis first Tony, introduced to the Tony pizza? Tony Pizzeria made it, and the first pepperonis were introduced three years later in 1975. What's Italian cheese? Italian cheese is a type of cheese that's produced in Italy from cows. And Italy. how can we have it in America? Because we live in a globalized society where there's global trade, so they can make it in Italy and then ship it over here. Can you make Ital is Italian cheese? Can you make that anywhere? Uh, I... I guess you could make that specific type of cheese in America. What kind of cheeses can goats make? Goat cheese. What kind of cheeses can humans make? <laughs> Breast cheese, I guess. <laughs> I guess wait, humans can wait, make there, cheese, there, yes. You, can we buy human cheese? <laughs> can we? Is that like, can someone make cheese of their own milk yeah, and sell it? definitely. Of the, you know, it's a free market. I would actually... Does it come out as cheese? Or no, does it no, come no, no, no. You have to, you have to, like... <laughs> well, I'm going to try to find Cheese doesn't come out of the cow I'm going to find me a girl... Who who can just produce cheese? Uh, this I'll be is, sucking this is a on call. them titties, getting some cheese whiz out. <laughs> it's like a little can of cheese. Yeah, whiz. I just I just I just press on the areola, just <laughs> go, get a little Ritz cracker. <laughs> yeah, thanks, baby. Uh, this is it. We're putting a call out to all pregnant or uh, lactating women that would like to donate some breast milk, so we could try to. Well, create human I want. I don't want to make any. I don't want to. I don't know if I trust myself in making the cheese. I would yeah, love Harrison to get it. someone to make. Harrison I guess Harrison could make the cheese. Making cheese, you know, you know how the first cheese was was discovered. They they had uh, they they used to drink out of like goat stomachs or like camel stomachs, like because it, it would yeah the skin liquid, yeah like, and it would have some bile in it and it mixed with milk and then one day some dude was like whoa that's rancid and then decided to eat it anyway and was like oh, that's pretty good oh oh. oh. Well, the, the thing is, like, if cheese had never existed, what if what if cheese tasted like shit the first time the first person tasted it? Would would there be no cheese? Would it be like, oh, that's disgusting. Well, but I don't it might have just been bad cheese. I don't know why he ate it anyway. Because like, when you think about what it is, he's like, oh, my milk went horribly bad, and it's it's thick and it smells horrible. Let me go ahead and eat it. Oh, this is good. I'm gonna keep doing this in the future. And now people buy smelly cheese. Well, you know, you, if you have a, a cheese poo poo platter, you're gonna you're gonna have some goat cheese, some brie, cheese. some cheddar. Goat cheese is my, one of my favorites. And and, you know, one of them cheeses. What's your favorite cheese? What's my favorite cheese? Cheddar, sharp cheddar. That's one of my favorite cheeses. But I do have to say, if there is a if there is a a plate of cheeses, my first uh, my first go to is goat. Go. Yep. For me, it's goat. So nice. G get some some goat cheese. Put some pepper jelly on that. Oh shit. yeah. Just Fuck yeah, dude. Goat cheese with jam on a cracker. And then uh and then gouda. Gouda is my 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 Gouda's second. I like soft pride. cheeses. I yeah. love those soft cheeses. Um. I say apparently it's pronounced holda. Like holda. That's how you say it. But like I'm gonna go to the store and be like, can I get some holda, please? I'm like, can what I get are you talking some about? Holda, please. Holda, please. I gouda cheese. <laughs> I, I I. Do you like really like strong like? Stinky cheese, like the, like, I like the stuff any type that's like of moldy. cheese. You know, you like blue cheese? Yeah, I like blue cheese. It's I don't think salad. I've had a cheese that I've not liked. There was that one cheese. There's cheeses that I wouldn't eat every day. There's that one cheese we had on wine and cheese night that one time that was like real specific. It was just mold essentially. Yeah, and it tasted a little. It was a unique flavor, mm -hmm. but I don't know if it's like if I was gonna have like a platter with like cheese and crackers. It's yeah. like I'm, I don't know if I'd go for that one again. Wow, the 200th episode, they're really, they're really pulling out all the stuff. What else are we supposed to talk about 200 episodes in? <laughs> I'll talk about fucking about cheese if I want. Cheese and crackers for the 200th episode. Yeah, I, I really wouldn't know what to do for the 200th episode. I mean, I- He I, says on the 200th episode. I, I, I love cheese. Yeah, no, I fucking so, love cheese. So why too. not, why shouldn't we talk about well, cheese talk and crackers? talk about it, bro. We have nothing planned for the 200th episode because it's I, just There's like that story episode. I apparently have to tell, which I think I've already told before you someone did. pointed out. The Budweiser story. Yeah. Apparently, should I just say that? Should I just tell it now? In episode 101, okay, so little backstory real quick. Okay. In episode 100, we, we said- Leading up to 100, we were, Ryan was going to tell the the great petroleum jelly story. Yes, and that was 
That was just, I was trying to put Ryan on the spot one day. I was like, tell the story about your mom with the petroleum jelly. Just to put him on the spot, see what he'd come up with. But then people really got latched to it and they're like, we have to know the petroleum jelly story. So then Ryan made up like a dumb little thing on episode 100 and people got really mad. So Ryan said to make it up to tell the Budweiser story (laughs) in episode 200. And here we are. But I've already, apparently someone shared on the Reddit or whatever. You did tell it. I I already know what it is. Yeah. So go ahead and tell it again. So you're not not breaking your promise. Yes. Jim's Budweiser story. By Ryan McGee, um, uh, illustrations by Ryan McGee. I'll put some music. Published by Ryan McGee. I'll put music. In. Audio uh, book publications by Ryan McGee. Mm-hmm. Voice narration by Ryan McGee. Okay. Title by Ryan McGee. Concept by Ryan McGee. <laughs> A Ryan McGee production. Let's hear it. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> I was I was out on the beach at 8 a.m. No, I'm not going to imagine if I said the <laughs> whole rap thing. the whole thing. <laughs> Yo, I was out on the beach at 8 no, a.m. So, you know, when you're in the beach and you're a little boy. In the beach? Sorry, when you're on the beach mm-hmm. in the ocean. Yes. Um, as a little boy, uh, you're, wearing, you're wearing your bathing suit. Sometimes you, you wear underwear with your bathing suit and sometimes you wouldn't. I didn't wear underwear under my bathing suit this particular time. And so everyone knows that inside the lining of the bathing suits, there's there's netting. There's mm-hmm. some netting there. Oh yeah. And uh, once you know that ocean sand gets in there, the salt and all that, you start you start to chafe. It starts to chafe, and you get like a red rash, kind of just uh, right, like just kind of like right next to your to your pubis. The, the crease, but where, where where leg ends and and pubis begins. Yes, that that is where the rash would be, and. Uh, you know, you you try a lot of things to help it out. There would be a cream that you could use. Uh, you could sl- slather it in cream. Get your dad to kiss it a little bit. But stepdad, okay, stepdad to them. kiss a little bit. And unfortunately, there was there was no cream to be seen on the beach. No one brought the cream. God damn. I know. You never forget the fucking cream. Oh, rookie so, mistake. So since there was no cream on the beach uh, to lather my rash with, my my stepfather Jim. Uh, would would offer us a, a beer, not to drink, but to to put in our in our swim trunks to to, p- to put right up against the rash. And the thing is, these are full cans of uh, these are full cans of Budweiser, the so, king of beers, by the way. Yes, and um, it might have been Bud Light. I, it's whatever. It's one of those beers. Still the king of now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, related to it. So that's essentially just that concept. No, uh, yeah. Because it's nice and cold up yeah. against the rash. Yeah, that's the Budweiser beer can store. And afterwards, and, Jim would take it, lick the outside of the can, and well, here's break the, that thing down. Well, here's the thing. It's like, um, I, there's no way Jim can run for political office now. Could you imagine him at the front uh, like thing, and all of a sudden, someone, uh, he's at a debate, and someone goes, now, Jim. Is this you, Jim asking Jim? No, 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 no. <laughs> yes? Okay. So, on episode 200 of your stepson's award-winning podcast, The Super Mega Cast, <gasps> he mentions that he uh, would get rashes and you would warm your beer on his nuts. Now, he's a young boy. Now, Ryan, how, how old were you at this time? Um, I was... I'm very nervous, that's why I use oh, this yeah, voice. Yeah. Um, small. He was small. <gasps> <gasps> Gasps in the courtroom. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> it's classic, dude. Yeah. Well, we just and then Jim Jim's gets canceled of, and can't run for office. I, I'm pretty. I think Jim's done enough on his own to not run for office. There's nothing. There's nothing like the nuts of a stepson to warm your brew. Oh, <laughs> serious. Try it. Mmm. Who great. needs koozies when you can just take your your stepson's. Nut skin and wrap it around the beard. Try Jim's new koozies. It's made from 100% the nut sacks of stepsons. <laughs> we could sell those, dude. Of scared stepsons. Did it help the rash, though? I mean, it felt good because it was cold. I, I remember like the, on the beach, if you got stung by a jellyfish, you're supposed to pee on it. Come on, Ryan. Do you have a rash? No, Jim, I don't have a rash. <laughs> Fuck, please, god damn it! How am I supposed to warm my beer? It's too, ah, too cold! <laughs> Can't even touch it. <laughs> no! Ooh, too Ooh. cold! Ooh, please, please stuff it in your shorts! Oh! Uh, my fingers! I, 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 go, go swim in the ocean! Go, Ryan, get a rash, get a rash! <laughs> you put like itching powder on you while you were sleeping the night before? So there's, there's the, there's the 
beer can, the Budweiser, story. Budweiser swim trunks, beach story, Budweiser. Yeah, there it is, guys. So I guess we can end it here. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you guys next week in episode two hundred one. Joke never gets old. Never gets ending old. it too early. Come not, on. Not even an episode. <laughs> come on, come on. That's a lot of episodes. You know, usually uh, I'm known to be like, oh, episode. 89 damn that's that's, a, that's like 89 episodes <laughs> yeah 200 that's, that's 200 fucking, episodes we're in the man. 200s now baby no more double digits no more d- triple starting with a one we're in the 200s how Every long did it take us on, to get here uh four years <sighs> four years we're definitely not reaching a thousand uh, I, <laughs> there's there's no way we're reaching a thousand. There's no way we're gonna be doing it this long. Can I? Can I don't I, know. Rhett and Link have been doing it for quite a bit. Can I do the Ian uh, and Anthony still at it? Ego Raptor and Danny Sexbang are are, are popping. And Donald Tronald. <laughs> let me uh let me figure out what what what's a thousand? So a thousand episodes times. Okay, hold on. How do I do math? On Shane Dot. No. Jenna. Uh, Ma- no. Never mind. Um, no. uh, <laughs> Ryan, how do I do the math to figure out how, how, how long it would take for us to hit episode? How many How many weeks in a year? Like 56, 52? 52. So we need 800 episodes at this point, 8,000. Yeah. So we get episode a week. So 800 weeks. So 800. Divided by 52. And that's how many years? Oh, really? Right? Because that says 15.38 years. Yeah, it's going to take a bit. I think if it took us four years to not to just get to 200... That's 800 more podcasts. Oh, yeah. Just do... Uh, for I mean, every, it hasn't been for exactly four, four years. years yeah. Okay, so... Been a little over four years? 800 divided by... Sorry to all you math majors out there listening. I'm... I... I, I don't... I didn't d- finish school, so... Yeah. 800-something more episodes divided by 52, the amount of weeks in a year. Yep, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so 15 years. So, in 2035, <laughs> we'll hit episode 1,000. How, okay, how long has so Rhett and Link? When did they start their YouTube channel? I was thinking about this the other night because I was laying in bed. And there, I, it's 2020. YouTube started in 2000. Like people started getting on around 2007. 2006. I watched it before my balls dropped. I watched Rhett and Link before my my testicles went boom. Yeah. So let's see. Good mythical morning. I watched their old music videos. Like they had the one about the astronauts that like clean up the space. There junk. was the STD one. No, the um the 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 what is it? The ADD one. I, I, I don't remember it's the STD my one. my ADD. And they had one, the cornhole one. And it turns into zombies or something. Yep. Cornhole. They had one about cornhole. That was oh. amazing. The Julian Smith had a had Akbar. It's a song about a cornstalk. That okay. is that is character song. Okay, I love Julian. Julian Smith. He's wonderful. He's old school. YouTube. Doesn't do He's much great. any day. He just gets people mad now on Twitter. Does he? Yeah. Uh oh. Is he is he is he shaking up some feathers? Is he going? Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know. I don't know. I, I see him tweet every now and then, but I just noticed that sometimes people are like. Oh, wow. Bad take, Julian. It's like, okay, I don't know. I miss him, man. I uh, haven't I haven't seen anything he's posted in he's probably five have, years. He probably has a more professional career. I don't know. He, I think he has a I, podcast I think he actually, or something. I think he went on to like do like producing or directing or something. Yeah, That's pro- what we'll do. We'll be, we'll be doing product. Christopher Nolan's uh, producing one day. Yeah, for Tenant. Ten- Tenant's coming out this year still. What is that movie even about? Time. Does anyone know what it's about? Time heals wounds. Okay. I was watching clips from Interstellar this weekend in my backyard. Which one? Of him crying in the spaceship or crying in the truck? Okay, crying in the spaceship. That's a fucking good scene. No, it's I think so I, good. I like the one where he's crying in the truck more. I don't remember that one. What? Wait, wait. I haven't seen Interstellar in years. But the scene where he's in the spaceship. I'm not, I'm not talking about Dallas Buyers Club when he's crying in the truck. I haven't I'm seen talking Dallas about, Buyers Club. I'm talking about when he's crying in the truck and driving and he's like, no, he's like, uh, yeah, I remember Tears now. I remember now. Out. It's the Lincoln commercial. We said, <laughs> in, well, he was in the Lincoln Lawyer. He was in the a Lincoln movie called the Lincoln too. Lawyer with uh, Ryan Felipe. Oh, the wrestler. I saw that in theaters with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect just mother son film. That that sounds like it. I always saw movies <laughs> with my mom like that too. Like Lincoln it's like lawyer. the genre of movie. It's like no one's gonna really watch this ever except for like a mom and her son that are like, well, we're free on this. Saturday. I remember him from Fool's Gold. <laughs> Is that what she said, Ryan? I remember well, him I from remember, Fool's uh, Gold. My cousin at the time, he got to see Fool's Gold in theaters, and it was PG-13. And apparently there's a, there was a scene where from far away, a woman takes off her top. No. And you see her tatas. No. I never saw the movie. But damn, a PG-13 movie where you can see tatas? How, how come little Ryan didn't take that? How come he didn't go, 
one ticket for Fool's Gold, please. I'm a big Matthew McConaughey fan. God damn. Been a fan of his since Friday the 13th in space. <laughs> or whatever Friday the 13th movie he was in. He's in a Friday the 13th movie? Yep. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. I can't remember which one. A bad one. I, either that or a ho- one of those... One of those shitty horror icon movies that made it up to like the umpteenths, you know, where they start going to space or like Jason goes to hell. J- Remember they did Jason oh, goes yeah. to New York or some shit like that. He goes to real life New York City. <laughs> he, he did though. He did, dude. Holy shit. There's um. Ah, oh, there was a movie. Re- okay, there's a movie with Seth Rogen where he falls in a vat of pickles and he freezes and he uh, gets unfrozen. In the future, and he ends up in real life New York City. And he's a pickle, right? It's called Pickle Man. <laughs> no, he plays old Seth Rogen. Well, he plays older Seth Rogen. And it's then there's Pickle Man, right? And there's younger Seth. Yeah, Pickle Man. It's not out yet. No. And you know we will go see it together when it comes out. <laughs> Dude, I haven't been a fan of any of his stuff since, like, after Neighbors 2. I didn't like Neighbors 2. I, so, so I didn't like Neighbors, Neighbors 1. I found Neighbors 1 fun because I saw it with some friends, and there was a bunch of haha funnies. They, you know, they were just women in the movie. I was not a big. That fan was Neighbors of that. Two. Oh, I didn't see. There's still two. women in Neighbors One, but Neighbors Two was the one where they they really went all SJW. Yeah, on us. fuck that shit, dude. Okay, FTS. Fuck that shit. I want my bro comedies to be full of penises and no no vagina. The the last Seth Rogen film that I liked was This Is the End. I believe. Dude, that movie is. I watched so it again funny. recently, about a month ago. Or I need so. to. I, I haven't seen it in a while. Uh, I, wa- I want to watch. Uh, good. Well, it's funny. The oh, interview again. You know. I liked the interview. It wasn't, it wasn't... I didn't like it upon my first viewing, but I've just kind of like, just because of what it is and politically what it was at the time and the whole like controversy, I watch it and I'm more interested just thinking of the controversy that it that it had and made. Still haven't seen Pineapple Express. I like that. I thought you did. I've never you seen should. it. You it's, should. It's around kind of like the same ballpark of when they were doing super bad and stuff. Yeah, it's you that know? era of They're comedy getting movie. that crew together. I can't wait until like three years from now when that era of movie's back, rock music's back, COVID-19. Dude, Rock of Ages with Tom Cruise? Dude, what a great movie. <laughs> I saw it in theaters. What an awful movie. Ah, fuck I've me. seen so many fucking bad movies. I've seen more bad movies than decent movies. I would say that sucks because then there's decent movies, but then there's good movies. Yes. So you've then seen the, the, there's good movies, and then there's great movies. You know, a good movie I watched, but recently. Then, but after great movies, there's brilliant movies. Then there's cinema after <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. I watched. I uh, so Too when bad. I, when, it's only in French. But yeah. <laughs> when I was in uh, bed with COVID nineteen, <laughs> <laughs> that's what he just did. That's how I move on from substance. <laughs> when I was in bed with COVID nineteen. Uh, I decided to go rewatch some old movies I liked, so I watched uh, District Nine. That movie holds up. That movie's really yeah. fucking good. I have to rewatch Balto. Bal- is that- I don't know. We're talking about rewatching movies. It's a movie is that Balto came to mind. The dog. Yeah, it's the animated movie that starts off in live action with the old lady at the bench with the Balto statue, and she's telling the some odd story about Balto. And she's sitting there with a box of chocolates, and it goes to animated, and it has the really scary fucking bear in it, and the two dumb bears, and one of the only bears, the only sounds it can make is the big fat one that goes. Wee, 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 wee. Something like that. And then there's the fucking goose. They have to save that sick kid or else she'll die. Or what? he'll die. I don't even need to see Someone the movie will die. You, I, I, just, I just saw it all in my head from mm, what you told You don't me. even know about the the mean wolf. Oh, ooh, dude! <laughs> you spoiled Balto for me! <laughs> what, did, you still could watch Balto too? No, it's fucking ruined, dude. I haven't even seen Balto too. I'm gonna spoil Bolt for you. <laughs> Speaking of movies with dogs. I've never seen Bolt. I remember seeing the trailers, and even as a, like, I guess as a, I wasn't a child, but I was still young. When the, when I saw the trailers for that, I was just not interested at all. Who, yeah, who was his voice? Good. John Travolta was Bolt? Uh, it, um, wasn't John Travolta Bolt? It was someone. Someone big. Look I it up. Look I it bet up. you I have this. I didn't even see the movie. I bet you I know Dude, what about shit. when Owen Wilson was live action Marmaduke? Marmaduke? <laughs> Dude, we should watch that shit. <laughs> no. What about Tim Allen? Tim Allen? <laughs> yeah, what about Tim uh, Allen? As the shaggy what about DA. Him? As the what? As the shaggy DA. The shaggy dog. D- was that a movie? Do you remember when Tim Allen turns into a dog? And he's a, and he's a, he's a DA? That's happened to so many stars like Look that. Look up shaggy dog. It's the Tim Allen movie where he turns into a dog. John Travolta did play Bolt. Miley Cyrus oh! was Penny. So uh, I don't care. All I, all I need to know is that I was right. Okay, Take yeah. that. Cine nerds, <laughs> I knew that Bolt was voiced by John Travolta. Yeah, uh, so, <laughs> dude, if we were at like a random bar in Oklahoma that was having a movie trivia <laughs> night, we'd fucking win because you'd be like, they'd be like, last question for the winner. Uh, uh, who voiced Bolt in Disney 2008 animated feature Bolt? John Travolta. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then we'd win like a, a free beer mug. 
with the bar's logo on it. I love I love uh, going to Bubba Gump's and them spitting trivia at a, at me. You know, dude. I'll always... What are they gonna do? Did you I... fart? No, I didn't. Okay, just checking. Why? Why? <laughs> I'm just checking. We're just like gotta, we're like six feet apart. Just got a so. whiff of something. I don't know. That's probably your upper lip. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I um, I started watching Quigley. What's that? You seriously? What the fuck is Quigley? You don't know what Quigley is? I don't know what Quigley is. What is Quigley? It's is Gary, it a show. It's a movie with Gary Busey. Oh, I gotta love Gary Busey. Where he turns into he's a CEO of 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 like a of like a company. Does an he evil turn dude. into a dog? Yeah, and he dies, and then he gets sent back to Earth as a dog to make to make people happy. And he's like, the trailer's like, what am I gonna do now that I'm Quigley? And he's a Pomeranian. You've never seen the trailer for this dude? <laughs> no, dude. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna pause the podcast to show you this because I can't believe you haven't heard of this. I, I watched 20 minutes of it and turned it off because it wasn't even funny. Bad. Well, I got a funny movie that you can watch. It's called um, Old Dogs with John Travolta and Robin Williams. It's hilarious. Okay. I'll Everyone should go out right now. Stop the podcast. Go watch Old Dogs. Come back and tell me what you think about it. We'll it's one of the best films of of of, uh, of our lifetime. You know what? Let's listen to some. Mother effing ad reads while Ryan watches this, and then we'll come back with his thoughts. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this is. I didn't even know that they were sponsoring us until just now when I checked the email. Uh, I guess. Uh, thanks to G Fuel for sponsoring the Super Mega Cast. Woo! You. you no, go. Oh, yeah, no, you can do it. No, okay. Um, you can get 30% off with the codes. Uh, you would have done it better. How about I'll you? Do, okay, it? I'll try. You can get 30% off with code Super Mega at checkout. G Fuel is an energy drink geared towards gamers. That's you. <gasps> it's designed to help support performance energy and extreme focus, and is the official energy drink of esports. Most flavors are keto friendly with five grams of carbs and no sugar. No sugar? Right now, you can get 30% off G Fuel with code Super Mega at checkout. Just remember, that's 30% off of G Fuel using code Super Mega at checkout. Have a moment discussing your experience with the product and be sure to include <laughs> your favorite flavors. At E3 last year, I tried G Fuel for the first time. At we, the we had booth. shots of G it, Fuel. It's in one of our YouTube videos. It was delicious. It was so good. I was actually blown away because I've always been like, uh, G Fuel is that f funny gamer drink. And when I tried it and I was like... I thought it was going to taste something like five-hour energy. Yeah, no, it's delicious. It's, it's actually really good. And they have like a million flavors. Not literally a million. I don't want to get sued or have the money taken away. But I, they, they... Too many flavors Too to many choose. flavors to count. I like the apple one. I don't know if there's an apple one. But if you go right now to G Fuel, <laughs> don't forget, you can get 30% off your G Fuel. There's Green Apple G Fuel. Ooh, green and it's my favorite one. I might have to. Okay. Should we Should we have to order some G Fuel? No, they can send us G Fuel. How about that? But we can also use code Super Mega. I actually really like G Fuel. Okay. I'm not even playing this up with that. No, no. G Fuel tastes really good. It'll help us play. Let's try ne next Let's Play session. Let's, let's start drinking G Fuel let's, for let's energy. See if, let's see if G Fuel actually helps okay. with our Let's Plays. We'll do it. And then... G Fuel, if you give us more money, we'll talk about how great you are for doing Let's Plays. Exactly. So, But for now, yeah. you're great for podcasts. And you get 30% off with code SUPERMEGA at checkout. Please. Recently, I was on my computer, yeah. and I, I had this weird feeling come over me. And I, I feel bad for doing it, but I, I searched big breasts. Oh, what if the government finds out that you searched up big breasts, Matt? Boy, that's what I'm scared of. He, I even used incognito, but... What if Big Brother knows? Oh, that, I'm scared, though. And I know most of you are probably thinking, why don't you just use incognito mode? Oh, no. Audience, did y'all look up big breasts on Google, too? Let me <gasps> tell you guys something. Incognito mode does not hide your activity. Oh, sh That's actually, uh... It, it, it that's, doesn't matter. That's news to me. It doesn't matter what mode you use or... How many times you clear your browsing history? Your internet service provider can still see every single website you've ever visited. That's why, even when I'm at home, I never go online without using Express V- Let me do that different. <laughs> that That's why uh, we at home now use uh, Express VPN. We never go online without it. Never. Never. Uh, it doesn't matter if you get your internet from Verizon or Comcast. ISPs in the US can legally sell your information to ad companies. Express VPN is an app that reroutes your internet connection through their secure server so your ISP can't see the sites you visit. Express VPN also keeps all of your information secure by encrypting 100% of your data with the most powerful encryption available. Think about this. With Express VPN, I can search big breasts and not be scared of Big Brother watching me. We all can. 
Most of the time, I don't even realize I have ExpressVPN on. It runs seamlessly in the background and is so easy to use. All you have to do is tap one button and boom, you're protected with ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is available on all your devices, phones, computers, even your smart TV. So there's no excuse for you not to be using it. Protect your online activity today with the VPN rated number one by CNET and Wired. <gasps> Visit our exclusive link at expressvpn.com slash supermega and you can get an extra three months free on a one-year package. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash supermega. Yep. So go to expressvpn.com slash supermega and do a little more. Links are in the description. Hey, you can search big breasts. All right. What do you think about Quigley? Very, very interesting. I liked how it was shot on a Sony HD video camcorder from like Best Buy. Yeah. Like the ones that they'd, <laughs> they'd have on display you could play with. <laughs> yeah. But did you ever fuck around in stores like that and you'd like pick Maybe up a the flip camera? video camcorder? Yeah. Oh, dude, the flip? Fuck, that takes I me I never back. got one though. I oh. wanted one so bad. I got it for my They're birthday. Too expensive. I got it for my birthday and I was so happy. I got and a then, video now though, so. Dude, shut up, man. Could record I, with it. We could watch Timmy Turner. Shark Week. Had the Shark Week video now discs. Video now. I couldn't afford video now. That, that was rich kid shit. It's a camcorder's rich kid shit. Flip, flips a rich kid shit. Yeah, but I was passionate about filmmaking. I wasn't passionate about Timmy Turner and Shark Week. My mom was passionate about spoiling her son. Well, she was trying to make up for the divorce. Yeah. So that's why you got that stuff. Yeah, that too. Bleep I, that out. <laughs> Bleep that out. <laughs> no, I got a flip camera and I was filming my friend shoot some hoops and I was like, don't hit the camera, dude. And he just threw the ball straight at the camera and broke my fucking flip cam. I was, I was livid. But you could just flip it out. I know you could, but now it and didn't now work you couldn't anymore. Flip it out I couldn't flip videos. it out anymore because when I like the screen was just black now and it wouldn't film anything. Was there some thing called, I know there was a show called Zoom. Was there some sort of camera called Zoom or some shit like that? Zoom video cam. My, my probably that sounds familiar. My very first camera was the uh, uh, oh fuck, what was it called? What was <laughs> what shit? What was this? Oh my god, dude, it was by Mattel. My very first video camera, and the, the lens was the size, the Vidster. It was the Vidster. The Do you Vidster. remember the Vidster? It came with different skins you could put on the side of it, like army camo or like pink or like lava. Yes. Yes, okay, I was right. I remember being obsessed with this camera because of how, like, boxy it looked. I was like, oh, that looks so cool. Um, hold on. Let me get a peek. Oh, dude, there's chocolate on the table. I'm gonna eat some fucking chocolate. God damn. Let me get in there. Ooh, fuck yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, strawberry chocolate. Okay, from Japan. I remember I really wanted a Sony HD video camera when I was in middle school, going into high school, so I made a shoebox where I printed off a picture of the camera and I put it on top and I made like a fund box where I'd go do chores for my neighbors and they'd give me cash and I'd put the money in there to save up for my camera and I never got it because I never reached my goal. But now I'm a big shot YouTuber, so go F yourself. I was reading about, a. Uh, am trying to cut back on social media a little bit because like for some, I've never really had a big problem with social media, but there's something about right now during COVID-19 and all the world events where it's just starting to like eat away at my brain. It's just so much. I'm just sad as fuck, man. I know. It just makes me sad every time I go on. And it's like, remember the days of Harambe, dude, which actually was training yesterday, but was it his anniversary? Dude, I've been watching uh, the Smithsonian history or whatever the Smith, the Smithsonian Smith, the Smithsonian YouTube channels. They have a like a forty three minute mini doc about a like a, a small group of baby orangutans that <gasps> they like they teach them to open up coconuts. They teach them like they take them to the river so they learn like kind of like oh wow flowing water I can I can splash around in it i can drink it you know and they're teaching them all these cool things and they're so cute and i love it oh well that actually ties in what i was about to say was i've been trying because social media so 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 much of a bummer these days because 2020 is just pfft. i'm trying to replace uh like time i know on social media with just going through the wikipedia app oh, really? so i just saved like a ton of wikipedia pages and like when i'm laying in bed i'll start reading wikipedia instead and then I'll find like other pages that go down a rabbit hole. And I, guess what? I even started using my powers to start editing Wikipedia pages. <laughs> Not as a joke. Okay, for instance, you know what? Uh, Wiki, the Wikipedia app, I guess, detected I was on there for a long period of time. and was like, would you like to help Wikipedia? And I was like, 
fuck yeah. So I was reading a list of train crashes, and mm-hmm. there was one that happened in Ethiopia, and it wanted a subtext for it. So I put Ethiopian rail disaster. So now that's on that Wikipedia page because of me. Ooh. Yeah. So, Damn. Yeah. That's I, you. That's I'm, internet I'm history. Contri- I'm contributing to Wikipedia unless, now. Unless they take it down. No, it was, it was, it stayed. It's confirmed. Okay. Because it's accurate. Because I don't want to fuck around on Wikipedia. I want to, there's something actually like very pleasing about like putting a little info on Wikipedia and be like, ah, I did that. I did that. So now you need to, you need to create whole pages. That's your next big goal. Some there's, pages only have like two sentences. There's some things that I, I could easily do pages about that don't have a page or don't have a lot where I'm like, but you don't want to, you also don't want to put your bias in, in on it too. Well, if I, if I edited Wikipedia, I would try to make it as, as objectively just like an encyclopedia as mm-hmm. I could, just fact based, you know? So everyone uh, that says Wikipedia is not a good source of information, just know that, uh, just tell your teachers that Matt Watson now has the power to edit articles, so. Let me tell you the exact article uh, I had a little fingerprint on, okay? Um, Ethiopian rail, hold on a second. I I was, hold on a second. There it is, here it is. The Awash rail disaster. See that that gray right there, the little thing? Yeah. Ethiopian rail disaster. I put that there. Ooh. Because it's known as the Ethiopian rail disaster? No, it's just that the subtext is like, what what is this event? Like, in, in a short, you know, series of words. And there was nothing there before. No, it said... Add a, it said How many wanted, pages don't have those on there? A lot. And it said it wanted me to start helping adding them. So I'm lately I've been going through, and I'll be I'll read a page, and it's like add a subtext, and I'll be like, okay, Ethiopian rail disaster. That's, that's really cool. It's fun, dude. It's It's... It sounds dumb, but in 2020, you got to find the simple pleasures in life. Exactly. Well, uh, one simple pleasure is uh, Animal Crossing uh, put out its summer update. Unfortunately, I think there's like three or four new fish or something like that. Not that many. Oh, they put new fish in? There's twenty. There's like 20 something. There's a shit ton of new bugs. There's a I lot didn't know of they were gonna add more. Bugs. Oh, dude, I'm a I'm a fuck up. <clears throat> I haven't played in over a they month. Added swimming. The, I missed. I missed the all the mayfish and bugs. June. Did you miss May? No, no, I missed ju- just June. Just okay. June. Well, I mean, the thing is, sh- sharks are still in the waters. Could I time travel back just for a day? I'm sure you could. Me? Yeah. I mean, you've time traveled before. Yeah. I'm just I'm I'm the st- I'm I'm the douchebag that doesn't time. Well, travel. I just feel like people are going to judge me. But no one judges like, you. Yeah, I think I think from what I've seen, there are there is a camp of time traveling versus not time traveling. Animal Crossing purists. But I think a lot of time travelers aren't people who are new to the game. They're people who have played the previous games and they kind of know what Animal Crossing is and they just kind of want to do their own thing with it. I've played them all for like 15 years. I fucking love Animal Crossing. This is like my first, this is legitimately my first Animal Crossing that I've had for my own. You know, we played the GameCube one on the channel and that was my first experience. Well, technically my first experience was New Leaf. I played like four or five hours. I don't know why I didn't get into that one. People people say that's the best one. I just I just didn't get a uh, New Horizons is by far the best. Now. I didn't get in there. And uh, yeah, I love New Horizon. You, you you have to have a swimsuit, so I'm waiting for my swimsuit to come in to go to Ooh. go swimming. I got I got to get back on it. I kind of want to like really start doing my town. You know what uh, made me sad the other day? What I took the Nintendo Wii we have at the office home because I got Guitar Hero Three World Tour. Ooh. Yeah, I, was, I saw it on eBay, and it was like 20 bucks, and I was like, I gotta fucking play some Guitar Hero. I love that game. So I brought the Wii home for a couple days, and I wanted to put the disc in, and I pressed eject. Our Animal Crossing disc came out, and I was like, fuck, that takes me back, man. Because it just made me think about Borat, and now it's gone. Uh, Borat's all gone. The only thing that's left is uh, that new place. New place? That new that new island that we have. Dilbert. Dilbert. Well, Borat will always be with us <laughs> in our memories, you know? I knew y'all didn't care about that new town. <laughs> no, it would just... Th- okay, what happened with our, our New Horizon series is that it just... It hit at the worst time because that's right when the pandemic started. So we didn't get to just sit here and keep playing it a lot. We were like trying to social distance. And then by the time we'd upload more episodes, people were like, You're so far behind! We're still uh, doing major social distancing between you and I. Mm-hmm. Where uh, we tried, there will be some weeks where we'd really try to hit up a good bit of the week work week, but there's some weeks where we're like fuck, you know, one to two days. I don't know. We're I just, I just feel that I don't know. I get so anxious when I when I talk about it because there are some people who said you know you're being overly cautious, and then there are people who are it's a pandemic. Know, you're you weren't being cautious enough. You know, I don't it's know. It's like what fifty thousand new cases a day in the U.S. Yep, so, right mm. now heading towards a hundred probably. Yeah, so it's it's really bad right now. Not good. And uh, I am just whew, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous. 
but we're uh, we we uh, we still have some let's plays to put out. Mm-hmm. We still uh, we got big projects we're working on too. We have a big one we're working on. Uh, yep, after continuing next that, week. and then Jackson is finally getting back soon. So <clears throat> drunk drawing, of course. The reason drunk drawing, I, we mentioned this before, but the reason drunk drawing went on hiatus is because. I would say Jackson is a somewhat like made like he's a he's like a producer of the show in a sense. Yeah. Like he gathers everything together. He he makes the uh recipes. He he kind of we kind of give him subjects that we'd like to do and he kind of decides yeah, he'll, he'll make a cocktail out of it. So he's been in South Carolina for like 2 months. Yeah. Uh because of an incident. And we like the way the new drunk drawing is where the drinks are themed after yeah. the game. I I don't want to just it, us doing shots or us bullshit. I don't know. Us bullshitting. I like, I, I, drinks, I, yeah. I like I like the way drunk drawing is set up with our us having a drink. And boy. I like the Patreon perks we can do with it too, like the extra drawing and the the card, like with the drink recipe. Yeah. So um, drunk drawing will get started back up again. I'm yes. excited. About and that. our mail it's videos. Like, probably, we haven't checked the PO box in so long because of the pandemic. Is so, it safe to check mail now? Did they say that it's like it's fine? Or, I, I, don't I don't know. know. I don't. Po- <clears throat> post office is not a good place because everyone's in there touching shit. Everyone's people aren't following like the guidelines, so they'll all be really close together. Yeah. So I told you about that fight I had with that lady at the post office. <laughs> yep. I do. I keep seeing her. I've seen her three times since that day. Do you think she recognizes you? No. I see, it's, I'm in my car every time I see uh, her. There, there was this dumb bitch at the She's, post office. What's she doing there so often? She, I, She's putting everyone at risk. Well, she. She was this woman that was covered head to toe like I couldn't even see what she looked like because she just had sunglasses bandana over her face bicycle helmet leggings like probably like 50 60 years old and she's standing outside the post office I haven't told the story on Sumega she's I she I so. haven't I just told you she's okay. standing outside the post office and I had to go get a stamp right I had to go mail something off I had to go get a stamp so I could mail a check and stamps these days are what 50 cents yeah, 40 50 Jesus I know right and um she's standing outside the door and I, I, I'm walking up to the post office, and she goes, hey, hey, I'm, I'm in line, okay? I'm in line, just to let you know. So we're waiting out here. And I was like, oh, okay, no problem. So uh, I stand behind her, and it's, it's, it, was, it was like 90 degrees outside. It was hot. It was one of those L.A. days. Sweltering day. Sweltering day. And more people kind of get in line behind us. And every time someone comes to get in line, she goes, hey, uh, we're in line, just so you know, we're in line. She said we, so she includes you. She did. It's a nice gesture. And then uh, someone comes up walks up to the door with a package that you see it's already it's already done like they've already filled it all out and put all the labels on it so they just have to drop it off yeah she goes what are you doing and he's like i'm just dropping off this package she goes no the, the line's back here he's like well for drop off i don't have to be in line i can just drop it off she's like no we're social distancing we're waiting out here and he's like okay so he gets in line and then we're just standing there and she goes Abs- absolutely ridiculous <laughs> Like to herself? Yeah. Or like two to people? Two like out loud. Yes. Yeah, so like, and oh yeah, okay. At this point, I'm like, yeah, so I'm all like, I'm all for social distancing, but she's kind of like, contr- like being really controlling. And well, then, from what you told me, there are places inside that are six feet yes, apart, that's but the thing. she wouldn't let y'all in. So, so a girl just decides she's like the girl and the guy that had the package, like after like five minutes, like we're going in. So she's like, no, you're not. And they're like, yeah, yeah get, shut up lady. And they go in, she goes, what a bunch of fucking morons. Jesus Christ. And they go inside. And then the girl pops her head back out. And she's like, there's only one person in here. And there's like six spots inside that you can stand on that are six feet apart. Yeah, six feet apart. And she's like, no, no one's going inside. And I was like, "Um, I'm going to go inside because there's AC. So I start walking to the door and she jumps in front of the door and, and she goes, she goes, she says, back up, step away from me, step, step back up, back up, back off. And I was like, what are you doing? And she's like, we're waiting outside. They, the, you, these health workers, I mean, the, uh, these postal workers will get sick because of us. And I was like, we're all wearing masks and gloves. We're all six feet apart and there's designated spots inside and there's nobody in there. I'm going to go in. And uh, I, I, she moves to the side and I go in and she's like outside screaming at everybody. So then everyone else comes inside and like. Everyone's six feet apart waiting in line. Does she, does she stand in her little, she, little she circle? Go, she comes inside and she gets to the front of the line and uh, she stands right in the middle of like three spaces. So yeah. like to take up three spaces. So I went and I just got to the closest space next to her because if she's on that space, I'm going to go to the next space. And she goes, what do you think you're doing? And I was like, 
well, you're, you should be in that space, but since you're taking up these, I'm going to stand in the cl next closest space, which is how the line works. See the spots that they've set up for everybody? And she goes, <laughs> you don't fucking get it, do you? And I was so, like, so you decided to become a domestic terrorist to prove a point? Yeah. And I was like, I was like, no, I, I think we get it and you don't see the spaces to stand on. Like, and she's like, <laughs> you are a fucking idiot. And then she gets in a fight with this other woman and the other woman goes like, while she's yelling at her, the other woman goes, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, lady, shut up. And then everyone laughed. And then she went and mailed her package and then screamed at everyone and left. And that was, uh, my experience with the post office. And then like a week later, I'm driving my car around the same area and I see her on her bike. And I was like, there's that bitch. And then, like two weeks later, I'm right near my house, and I see her biking right near my house. And I'm like, oh, she lives near you? Yeah, she lives She lives right near me. Yeah. And I was like, there she is. And when I saw her one more time with Carson, and I was like, what? She's she's like a demon. Why is she haunting? Why do I keep seeing her? <laughs> she, she's, she's making sure everyone's social distancing. She didn't give a fuck about social distancing. It was just a control thing. Yeah. A lot of people will use any other any kind of thing as an excuse to kind of be more okay. controlling or manipulative. You see it in like... Uh, the 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 two biggest forums I've seen the smallest amount of power go to someone's head would be like Twitch and Reddit, like Twitch moderators and Reddit oh and Reddit yeah mods. yeah. Okay, can I use a slur real quick on the podcast? Yeah, she was a a Karen. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Yes, cancel she... me over that one, Karens. Oh, I love the I love the <laughs> the people that are like really offended by the term Karen. Well, they they're Karens. <laughs> they're proving they're they're proving the uh, the namesake true. Like, so I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna call my mom a Karen because she knows what it is. I'm gonna see because I remember when she was here for Thanksgiving. That's what uh, my mom's definitely been a Karen. On, dude, have you ever just been like, I don't know if it's just the disconnect between being an adult and a child, but just embarrassed by how kind of upfront your mother is to another adult in front of you? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, my mom never really did too much of that, but we would go out to my dinner. My mom stands her fucking ground. Yeah, my mom, My mom. she's a pussy, so. Uh, she has one, too. Yeah, she Woo! That's a big pussy, too. Um, my dad would do that sometimes, and I would just be like, Dad, come on. And, but we went out to dinner with my, my... Well, your dad's also the type of guy to, like, if you go to, like, uh, San Jose's in South Carolina, Mexican restaurant, uh, he'll be like, uh, two waters, por favor. <laughs> what they appreciate it. I'm Gracias. To their culture. Dos margaritas, por favor. <laughs> that, that that did happen once. Well, of course it did. And, and probably happens. He probably does the same thing at Taco Bell. And it's like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm. Con they appreciate. It. I'm connecting to their culture. I'm like, you. They go in the kitchen. They're making fun of you. They're calling you a gringo. <laughs> but uh, it's racist. I would we I, I would go out to dinner with a family friend every now and then, and she she was like. If she, if think she would find a reason to like complain, and mm -hmm. if if something was wrong with the food, like it's not hot enough, like that type of person, she would like berate the staff. And I remember like I was a kid, I'd sit there, I was be like, oh my god, this is so humiliating. Like I, I people just, who are sad in their like I just sh in shut, their shut own down. Lives. I was like, this is so embarrassing. And I was too young to like be like, hey, stop treating him like that, because you know, as, as a kid, you're not gonna like jump out yeah. and be like, hey. Stop being a bitch because it's like an older adult, but like God, I cannot stand people oh, that berate staff like that. Me and my mom will get into spats. She doesn't berate the staff like that, but if I like I disagree it. with the way she's handling a situation, whether it be customer service or whatever, I'm like mom, then she'll just it's me calling her out that I think that I think sparks it. We'll 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 just fucking we'll pound each other's faces and fight the right concrete. in the target. Yeah. She f she'll fucking throw me down on my side and break my hip, man. Mm hmm I remember we had to, we we could talk about it now, but that happened while we were recording Super Mega once, uh, like in the same uh, in a month while we were working on Super Mega, and we had to put a hiatus on because you had a broken hip. Well, yeah, we, well, it all started because I had a coupon that apparently wasn't registering, and I told the cashier, you know, don't worry about it. And then my mom was like, well, no, 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 scan it again. I was like, I've been, come on, mom, you don't have to do this. I, it's fine. It's like it's 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 fifty cents off of Tide. Tide costs a good bit to begin with. I'm not really saving that much. It's probably it's probably expired already. And the guy's like, okay. I mean, I, 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 he scans it again. Of course, it <laughs> probably shows expired. He's like, no. You know what? Call your manager up here. I said, mom, it's it's not that. And before I could say another word, she fucking pulled my hair and took me out into the parking lot and slammed my hip into what are those things called that like uh, the bumpers for cars? Yeah, like the like the little the thing that it, in each parking space, yeah, the yeah, concrete yeah. thing, yeah. And like my 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 hip hit that and kind of just shattered. And I, I was just, I remember you couldn't walk. Yeah, but I I never I, I I try not to question her too much. Mm -hmm. 
It's better uh, that way. Yeah, it's just a difference of opinion. But yeah, some people just can't handle a, you know, no well. That coupon story really just brought back a bunch of memories where uh, when I would work food, like someone would come in with a coupon that was like expired. Yeah. And I'd be like, you know, it's a, I'd be like, oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, this coupon uh, is no longer active. And she'd be like, no, you're going to you're gonna take it. And oh, I'm like, the worst one is the people at Food Lion who would have like 20 coupons. And I, I, I'm all for I, I love watching like each coupon scanned. Like it's a fun thing. He's like, you see the prices. It's like, go ooh, down. it's like a little achievement. One of those coupons doesn't work. That person's whole fucking life gets thrown into like this, just a frenzy. You're gonna count the coupon because in their head, it's like, no, I, I I did all the planning. I had all the coupons prepared. I had a, the exact amount that I was gonna <laughs> save. It's like at first they're nice because you know they're saving money and you you know you'll do a quip. It's like, oh wow, I guess I'm gonna have to be paying you after this. I'm like, oh. Oh, scan know. it again. <laughs> yeah, then one doesn't work. It's scan like, it again. Get your manager up here. Get the manager. Call the manager right now. See, I don't see an expiration on this. Yeah, but sometimes, well, did you accidentally rip off the expiration? Well, finally, the manager just has to go in your ear and be like, just, 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 just. Give her the, no, I mean, the like, if if customers do complain about a coupon or do complain about like this, said that it was on sale. A big one is a customer would come to the front, and this is just an easy way to get something. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to give any tips here, but at least when I worked there, it was it was just an easy way to get something off. Though someone will uh, bring you an item and be like, hey, this says that there should be a food line had MVP discounts. I don't know if they have the same. Dude, thing were those anymore. the little things where the coupons go? Out of the, remember the little yeah, like yeah. boxes the well, coupons well the MVP cards were just kind of like the Ralph's card. I remember my mom like had that. one for Food Lion. Yeah, and so um, you would you would just oh, fuck. What was I saying? A, a way that people would get free stuff. Oh, the, not free <laughs> stuff, but just get a better discount. They'd be like, this item said that the MVP discount, the v, the MVP sticker said they would two dollars off. And then it's like I'll have to like get off the register and go check. And it's like no, it's not. Well, that's not where I found it. I found it here. And it'd be like, they said that they found it under some kind of, uh, on the shelf next to it. But it was essentially, they would, they would look at an item that had an MVP price. For example, like they'd look at the Food Lion Salsa. And then they'd look at a name brand Salsa. And they tried to get the same deal as one of those other brands on another brand. And so it's just they just complain and complain and complain and then eventually and, and like, until you just have to okay, get in the okay, way. Yeah, we'll give you. We'll but give that, you they know that they, they know that if they make a big enough deal, you're just gonna finally do it. Like it will it won't happen if if like they they like, please uh, come on do that. But if they make a big stink about it, you just need to get them you need to get them out of your line so you can continue ringing customers. Then you're gonna up. have a whole line and then it stresses you out. Yeah, I remember. Here's a tip that worked at Chick Fil A. I'm gonna get sued for this one. I'll give you guys a little secret. No, this is bad. What this is naughty? What? At least when I worked there, this this was this was kind of what the policy would be. Okay, someone would drive through the drive through, and I'm sure it did happen on purpose. But it usually was an accident. Someone pull up, and be like you know what? I just realized it on my car. And be like, oh, you can have the meal for free. So uh, I'm not endorsing that, <laughs> but I remember giving many people free meals because I'm like, don't worry about it. And the managers would tell me to do that. Yeah. So I just remember being people trying to con me a lot. Oh, I remember that too. Cause I remember this person, like they'd come through the, they'd come to the drive-thru and be like, uh, Hey, I just came through uh, 20 minutes ago and I paid, but I, I, and you're like, I, I, don't I forgot you. to get my food. And I'm like, I've been working this window six hours. You did not come through. He's like, well, I'm not leaving until I get my food. And a, it's like, okay, well, here's big, your food. <laughs> a, a big one that actually got me was that someone would cut out the barcode of say like the water and water's cheap as fuck. And, they would essentially like, um, cause if it's a heavy beer can thing, we can use the self scanner. <laughs> Someone's like, yeah, just give me that. I can scan it. And you know, sometimes you, you're working, you're like, yeah, okay. You're not supposed to let the customer scan. Or even if you do, you're not looking all the way, but they would, t they would rip off the barcode of the water uh, display or the water bottles. I'll put it on beer. And they just kind of hold it there on the beer. So when they lifted it up to scan it, you may not notice it, but it just scans the water. It's like 289 for like a fucking huge thing of beer. I remember one woman got away with it and left and, uh, I, uh, I had to go clean restrooms. <laughs> <laughs> As Dude, a punishment. I, I got in trouble for that kind of shit too. It was rush hour and I accidentally took a counterfeit $10 bill. And like when you're at that window at a drive through window for like six hours straight, you got to and it's that do, 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 and yeah. people are just back and forth. Oh, especially remember, busy hour and like this, it's the same thing in busy hour and, and grocery you store have when you just have drive through lines. line around the block. I'm just yep. like, I'm trying to go fast because the way that the way it would work with the drive through is 
when an order hits the drive through it's green and then after one minute it becomes yellow and then after like a minute and a half or two minutes it becomes red and on your screen you have all the orders so if you get backed up your screen's all red and you'll get yelled at they're like you have too many orders in the red come on hurry it up pick it yeah. up so i took a 10 dollar bill and i'm i'm sorry the fucking multi billion dollar corporation just lost 10 dollars but um they they brought me in the back and they like they like held it up for everyone everyone had to come look at it and i got in trouble for it and i was like I'm pretty sure they took it out of my paycheck and I'm like fuck that that's a fucking multi-billion dollar corporation a guy actually takes the a guy that is not even making ten dollars an hour boom it's a whole hour of work gone more yeah. than that I'm like fuck that shit corporations are not epic they're not they suck but uh there's no ethical consumption under capitalism look where we are now man yeah we're we're recording a podcast in a beautiful studio well in a house that we made into a studio but I gotta you go know, take I, the check to the landlord today. I couldn't fucking imagine still still working at that food line. Yeah, I did not like working. I'm not service. saying that people who work at food line, it's like, oh my god, but like peasants. For, That's what <laughs> for me, are. I'm just I'm just I'm just happier that I was lucky enough to be able to do this shit. Absolutely, and look at look, look where we are. Two hundred episodes later. I know. I Crazy. honestly, when we started this podcast, the very first episode, I was like, I never imagined getting to episode two hundred. Because I remember thinking, like, dude, episode thirty sounds so far away. Or, or like, dude, I remember when I would have the thumbnail uh, thing on my computer, I, just see what it looked like. When we were only like two episodes in, I would change it to like 142 because I'd be like, just to see it. Yeah, that's what it'll look like one day. That's hmm. 200. Joe Rogan has a thousand episodes. Shut up, dude. I don't give a fuck about Joe Rogan. He has over a thousand. Episodes. I don't care, dude. Hmm. We're better than Joe Rogan. Hmm. Ben Shapiro. I don't know how many episodes Ben Shapiro has. Probably a billion. More than Super Mega. Okay. Okay. So. So these su- super mega guys. Trump, yeah, okay, so 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 Trump retweeted a video of a dude screen white power, but he probably had his sound off on the computer. Oh, shit. Politics time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. Here we go. I, I... He did retweet yay's a video in. of a dude. Yay's oh, in. Oh, yay's in. Yay's in. Yay for president, y'all. So so uh, Trump's Daniels. getting another four four terms, right? Four, uh, sorry. Four, 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 four terms? terms? No, 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 no. <laughs> well, he is getting another four terms in terms of he's getting another one. Then his daughter's going to have two. And then one of the juniors we'll, will have one, we'll I'm sure. We'll get Eric, and then we'll get Donald Trump Jr. <laughs> Dude, look at this picture of Donald Trump Jr. I have saved on my phone. I just found this yesterday. Ooh, dude, I'm about to own the Trumps with ugly picture of Donald Trump Jr. Is it a funny picture of Donald Trump Jr.? It's just, it's a, I mean, it's this. <laughs> he has to be played by Jonah Hill if they make like a movie soon. Like, couldn't Jonah Hill play him perfectly could, if Jonah Hill could. gained the weight back? What do you, what do you think of Kanye, uh... Running for president? Yeah, I think it's absolutely that. stupid as fuck. Do you think because that it, then it, all it does? Do you it, think an e, like he's dropping music soon, and this is just yeah, another? one I don't of those think he's actually things? running for president because he's he's teased this before. I think if he actually does end up on the ballot, that's bad because it's just going to. I don't think he can end up on the ballot. It's right? going to divide people people's votes, which means more people will constant will, will vote for Trump, and then people that would vote for someone other than Trump can he get on the ballot? Other, I th- probably he's a billionaire. I don't know. That's what we need. We need another billionaire president. Mm. That's what the people need. It's just funny because Kanye's done this before. And he's like, I'm running for president. Psych. Who I knows? do have to say. Running as an independent party, he's got Kim Kardashian as our... as our. She'd be our first lady. Yeah, she And we'd have the Kardashians in the house. Dude, we'd have another first lady that we've seen naked and in you the know, news. And you know that they would do a reality TV series in the White House. They would. With the Kardashians. They'd be like keeping up with the... There's no way. Oh my God. What if, dude? They do keeping up with the Kardashians dude, in the White House. That is exactly if 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 the world were made to be its just like worst self, that's what would happen. Kanye West versus Donald Trump no, and then it's the a reality Kardashians show. in the White House. Like the Kardashians in Miami, how they did that one, the spinoff and all that shit. Now they're going to do... Uh, can- Chloe in the house. <laughs> what if, <laughs> dude? Oh my God! They could they do that? I wonder why Trump hasn't done that. A reality show in the White what's going to be the first president who has like a YouTube channel? Me. Nah. President Watson. Okay. Also, <laughs> our next door neighbors are having a very loud Armenian party right now. Listen to that. You hear that? Very Armenian. I know it's Armenian because the rhythm. Because all Armenian pop songs have the exact same. It's a. Doom. Well, American pop songs all have the same. They do, but Armenian Armenian music uses like some weird ass chords, like some unique. It is very. Chords. How they, about that? They have like half notes too, because I think a lot of their music is like Arabic derived, and Arabic has half notes that we don't have in our music. So that's why when Arabic guys sing, it's like 
It's really pretty, actually. <clears throat> Is, that, is this, is this that gonna bad? cancel us? That, gonna can't, cancel I can't be canceled. You are Middle Eastern, so so I can't be. Do you canceled give me the pass it? to do the, the I guess I Arabic could. singing? I guess I could. Well, here's the thing: if we did the Mongolian Matthew throat singing, SpongeBob, SpongeBob laughing. <laughs> it's just that classic kind of like when you transition to a desert, it just goes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I got it. What? Uh, SpongeBob, okay. but he's in the Middle East. <laughs> like it? That's good. That's a uh, good that would, bit, right? Good. I, I'm gonna that have to test good. that out at the Laugh Factory next week. When if I we do ever my make a movie, episode. we just have to put that 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 whole shit in there. If we ever ha- like are in a desert, SpongeBob goes to Afghanistan. Sp- SpongeBob is, joins Operation uh, Desert Eagle. <laughs> Desert Storm, whatever it's called. Oh, I've been watching Korra, dude. I'm almost done. Legend of Korra? Yeah. Do you like it? It's all right. Have you seen Avatar? Yes. Oh, I, didn't I watched it that. before watching Korra. Yeah. I watched it a little bit when I was young, but I didn't watch every episode, so now I watched it all the way through for the first time, because as a kid, you know, you have to catch those, yeah. catch them at the right time, mm-hmm. catch a rerun that at the right time. That's too hard. Yeah. Some shows I would be able to do that with. I remember I tried that with Danny Phantom until like it just I was like I have to watch Danny Phantom, then I have to make sure I catch up with fucking what Timmy Turner's up to. Yeah, it's see just what, too much. See bro. What fucking SpongeBob's doing? Raven Simone's up here chilling with her friend Chelsea, her dumb fucking friend Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that party's getting louder. It is. Well, that sounds crazy over there, man. No, you know why they're doing it? No, it doesn't sound like a party. 200. Maybe it's a riot. <gasps> Dude, this, they're celebrating episode 200 they of the are. Super Mega Cast. They're like, our next door neighbors are YouTubers Super Mega, and we're celebrating, we're throwing a party for them. And, you know, we're going to come outside and they're going to go, Pooh, surprise! How long has it been since we had a fucking guest? <laughs> When's the last time we had a guest on the podcast? <laughs> Gus and I do have a guest lined up. We didn't have, they weren't on the podcast. Gus and Eddie? Yeah, they were. They were on the podcast. I thought they were only here for the Let's Plays. They were here for an episode of the podcast. I want to get Jakey on soon. We weren't on their podcast. That's what I'm We weren't on their podcast. Because we were yet. supposed to go on their podcast at some point. Uh, I want to get a, a... George Clinton said he wants to come on, so we'll get him on soon. Nah. Okay. Um, then we'll get... Uh, Give me some other choices. We'll get Ye on. Can we get Roseanne? Well, yeah. Can we get Rosie we'll, we'll, O'Donnell we'll and an, Roseanne? We'll pop an Ambien, all three of us, before we do it. Okay. I took a new sleeping pill this week. I don't take like sleeping pills, but uh, I have a hard time sleeping. So my doctor was like, here's two alternatives to sleeping medication, like Ambien. Or I, I was like, I do not want Xanax. I don't want Ambien because Xanax will fuck. Don't do Xanax, kids. Xanax is very, very bad for you. I remember I, I, I went to a doctor out here and I was like, hey, I have anxiety. And he's like, I can prescribe you with Xanax. Xanax is And horrible. he gave me a prescription. I never went to, I never went and picked it up because I was like, Xanax will, Z- Dude, Xanax will fucking... Strip you of your personality and make you just. Well, I think he was. He, I think he thought he was catching on to something. When I was oh, like, hey, like, I have anxiety. You know, like when you go to the like. First, you, when you, you had really to your, need help when you had like, to get your weed card out here. You'd go, oh, I have back pain. I'm, I'm pretty sure he thought that's what it was. Like, yeah, oh, this guy wants some Xanax. He wants no, the hookup. An antidepressant would have been better, but Xanax works too. No, but uh, so I I I got this one pill called hydroxyzine. Which is just an antihistamine, so it's like Benadryl, just really strong, so it makes you drowsy. Been a what? Benadryl. I've only uh, been a human. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you got a real laugh out of me. <laughs> and it worked all right, but then I tried this other one called Trazodone, and uh, it's an antidepressant, but it makes you so fucking sleepy. And I took it, and I, I slept so fucking well, and I woke up dizzy as hell, felt horrible depression all day, so I didn't take it again. So. Mm. That's that's my story. That was actually during the COVID scare, so I think that that heavily contributed to why I thought I had COVID. Because ah. I was dizzy all day, I was lightheaded. But you're, but you're all good. I'm great now. Look at me. Have <laughs> I ever looked better? You could run a marathon tomorrow. Have I ever looked better, dude? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. You see all the 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 joy in my face? Did you do your hair for me? No, I actually haven't showered. And uh, I thought your hair looked a bit thicker. I was like, hmm. It's, it's the grease. Okay. That's the... Hey, natural grease is nice for hair. It is, to a degree. Don't... We don't want some middle school boy listening to this and be like, oh, all right. <laughs> Fucking going to school with like two weeks of grease in his hair. Like, what? They, they said it, it's nice. You're talking to the guy who doesn't wash his hair with like shampoo except for like once every two weeks. Don't start, Ryan. You have beautiful hair <laughs> and you have thick hair. So it doesn't... If you have thin hair, that's when the grease shows. Yeah. If you have thick hair, 
You're good. It's beautiful. Yeah, thin hair. Look at look at this. I haven't showered. Like my hair's days. getting to that fucking shitty portion. So is mine. Look how look how long it That's is. That's why now. it's hat season, baby. It's about to be hat season for me too. Look at this shit. <laughs> See, it's just like I can actually do. A, like Everyone a, looks so ridiculous in quarantine, dude. I know. I could do kind of a bowl cut, actually. Hold on. We should do. We should do. A, we should. <laughs> we should. Um, Create a YouTube channel where you just make fun of everyone's uh, ha hair because of COVID. We can start with a, hey, Chris Raygun. <laughs> nice hair, doofus. Or a bonk. Or can you add a bonk sound effect Boom. after I said that, please? Yeah, of course. Before I said bonk. Yes. But, okay. And critical. Matt. Matt critical. I, I promise Matt, I will. I promise I will. Matt, add a bonk. I'll add another one just for safe measure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, add it, add it, add it. Um, uh, oh, no, a mouse. It, like like yeah. I'm bonking the mouse gotcha. and killing it and splattering it on our floor or something. Yeah. I don't know. Something crazy. I'll do something crazy. Don't okay. worry. <laughs> I don't remember this being the bonk episode. Huh? Well, I guess it is now. <laughs> Can we call this one the PP episode? <laughs> no, we didn't talk about... Yeah, but last one was the poo-poo episode. Well, we can dedicate an episode strictly to PP at some point. Episode 122 will be the PP episode. We already did 122. Then 222 will be the okay, PP 222 episode. 222 will be the PP episode, guys. I Put meant 222. Down. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay, dude. Don't worry 222 about 222 is the PP episode. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That's a joke. No, it's not. <laughs> it's the PP episode. I hate now. committing to that. If we shit. have the poo poo episode, we have to have the PP episode. What sense does it make having them fucking like dude, 25 episodes it, apart? Every, every time I go on. <laughs> Spotify to listen to music for some reason it just keeps coming up not our podcast but just that specific episode so it, it's a picture <laughs> of our podcast but it just says it says watch next the poo poo episode I just love that we uh we gave recommendations to YouTube channels that we kind of like and if those people ever catch wind of where the recommendation come oh, wait, from, where did that come be, from it would be oh the poo poo episode God, I felt bad after that I was like shit oh man I these guys seem like they could be respectable let me go check <laughs> uh, nope I, I'm sure there's some people who just don't want us uh you know, being like, oh, wow, I love this channel because they'd see us as the complete antithesis of who they are and what they stand for. So yeah. I, I would understand. Yeah, I get that. I, I get that completely. Well, uh, my COVID's really actually starting to hit real bad right now. Ooh, so got to put you in your little tank tank. Put me in my tank tank, buddy. Make sure you crank up the heat this time. I will. I Burn will. Burn that shit out of me. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for listening to episode uh, 200. Uh, we'll be back next week for episode 201. Just a normal fucking episode. It wasn't this was a special. Good episode. I liked this special episode. At all. It it's special because episode. we said it's special. And we had Markiplier on. Yeah, we did. Yeah, so. In a dream sequence. Yeah, Ryan. Wait, is that the first dream sequence of the podcast? It might be. So, come on. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good shit. Anyway. Y'all have a good one, and uh, we'll see you for episode 201. Sounds and, good to uh, me. And, I mean, I'm, I'm sure, you know... We've said it so many times, but thank you for continuing to listen to this fucking podcast. This yeah. is way too many hours of completely average conversation that you continue to watch on a, on, on a weekly basis. Let me throw this out there. I, I figured out the total hours of our podcast by judging by Spotify. If you started right now from episode one and listened 24 hours a day, it would take over eight days to get to this point. That's a long, that's a long yeah. time. That's, that's a lot of us talking. What was that? <gasps> what was that? Someone, sounded like a robber. Someone broke in. That sounded like someone just broke in. No, that we'd hear footsteps and glass not shattering. The, not the tiptoeing. Now now I close my eyes. I can't hear. Now my brains make me think I hear footsteps. You hear Get that? out now, or else I'll come on you. There's definitely no one here. That yeah. <laughs>